My name is David Andre, and here's how to build anything with LineGraph Studio. This is a completely new way to build AI agent. It is visual, much easier to understand, and it gives you a nice UI you can play with. You can think of it as Agents 2.0. So at the start, you have a user input, then you have your agent. Here you can see it can either continue and take an action, or it can end the entire chain. Now, obviously you can move everything. Below, you have the input field where you can put your message. And on the right, this is where messages go and where you can see exactly what the agent is doing. Now, what's even more amazing is that the team at LangGraph built what's called a LangGraph engineer, which is basically like a tool that builds the graphs for you. I think the best way to understand it is to hear it from the CEO himself. I think this is helpful because you shouldn't have to think deeply about lane graph constructs in order to build an agent, but you should have to think about your business logic. Exactly. So all we have to think about is what task we want to automate. Line graph just makes it much easier to get started on the process of building agents. So let me show you how to actually set up line graph studio. This is probably the hardest part. So if you can sit down and push through the friction, you'll already do 90% of the work. If you get stuck at any point, simply use ChatGPT or perplexity to help you get unstuck. The first thing we have to do is go to line graph studio GitHub, which will be linked below the video. Now this is completely open source repository. So anybody can use it. Anybody can start building it with it. By the way, for the rest of August, I'm running a special offer. If you join the new society, you will get a personalized plan to make your first dollars with AI. Plus you'll get access to all of our trainings and workshops, and you can talk to me literally every single day. I'm so confident that you're going to love the new society that I'm going to give you an offer. If you don't see any results within the first 60 days, I will personally send you the money back. So click the link below and join today. The first thing we have to do is scroll down and look into the download section. The app itself is only available on macOS, but don't worry because anyone can use the web UI. I'll show you how to use the web UI later in the video. So the first step is to download the DMG file by clicking here. You should see something like this. So click on save, open your downloads folder and look for the file. So it's right here, double click it. And this will open the Lang Graph Studio installer. So just drag this into your applications folder. Now, if we go back to the GitHub and scroll down a bit, you'll see that Lang Graph Studio actually requires Docker. So don't worry, if you don't have Docker, there is a link here, just click on it and you'll see um, Docker desktop for Linux, Mac OX, or Windows. So just download Docker Desktop. If you watch my channel, you already know that Docker is super useful for AI agents and it's completely free unless you're making more than $10 million a year, in which case you can probably afford it. So every time you want to run a LangGraph Studio, just make sure to first open Docker and have it running because it is required to run LangGraph. Now that Docker is running, we can open the LangGraph Studio app. So hit enter. It should look something like this. At the top, there's a data region just select us because eu has a bunch of bs regulations this requires you to log into langsmith click on login and here uh, you can log in with google uh, github doesn't matter so just create the account takes literally 20 seconds once you complete the login your app should look like this all right so now let's open vs code to also create an empty folder so let me do new folder code now if you don't have vs code don't panic just go into google type vs code download Hit enter, click on the first link and simply install it just like you would any other app. If you run into issues, use perplexity, use ChatGPT. Inside of VS Code, go to the top left, click on file and then click on open folder. Find the empty folder you just created and open it. Then go to the top left again, this time click on terminal, new terminal and you should see a nice empty terminal. Now let's go back to GitHub, but this time to the LangGraph example repo which of course I'll link below the video as well. Click on code and then click on this button to copy the URL. Let's go back to VS Code and type git clone and paste into URL, enter. And this will clone the entire repo. And on the left, you, you should actually see it, right? So in our uh, code folder, that was the name of my empty folder. You should see a LangGraph example. If you open that, you'll see everything. The first thing you have to do is create a copy of this file, env example, because we need an actual environment file. Control C, Control V, right click this new, newly created copy and rename it. And it has to be named .env. Now inside you'll see three different API keys. We can actually delete these three dots, but we're gonna be using Anthropic, Tavili and OpenAI. Obviously Anthropic and OpenAI are for the language models. Tavili is for the web search. So all I have to do is Anthropic, console into Google. If you don't have an account, just choose Google and you know, in 10 seconds you're in. Click on settings and then API keys. 
create key, name it whatever, copy. Back to VS Code, Control V, make sure there is no space, no dots, simply Control V and Control S. Tabulate API, click the first link, click on pricing. As you can see, they have a free plan. By the way, with the Anthropic one, I do recommend you put in your credit card because a lot of people run into so many unnecessary issues with API keys purely because they try to be cheap and they don't want to spend like $1 on credits. But just charge it up, put in your credit card so that OpenAI and Anthropic know that you're a real person. But luckily, Tavili is completely free. So just, you know, click on the free plan. This will log you in into the dashboard. Again, if you don't have an account, create it. You can log in with GitHub, G uh, Google. Takes 20 seconds at most. Once you do that, you'll see this. You already get a default key. So just click on copy. Go back to Tabili, paste it, control S again, and now open AI. So head on to platform.openai.com slash API keys. Click on create new secret key, name it Lang Graph Studio, doesn't matter. Create new secret key, copy and paste it inside. Control S, boom, save the file. So now we can open up Lang Graph Studio and open the folder. So find the empty folder we've created, click on Lang Graph example, open starting line graph example and this can take anywhere between 20 to 30 seconds or actually in my case it took two to three seconds but uh, if it's your first time running it it might take longer so awesome this is line graph studio as you can see we have the starting block agent node action node and end node we can move it around do anything we want with it so let's give it a test message right uh, at the bottom expand the input click on messages uh, leave it on human you can also do system or whatever AI, leave it on human and let's just do a something simple, right? right? What are the best AI upscalers? And on the right, we can see the execution happening, right? So this is my prompt. Then the AI, this is the agent, to find information on the best AI upscaler, I will, I will perform a web search using Tavily tool. So it recognizes it cannot answer just by, you know, recalling from the data, the training data. So it uses a tool, Tavily search, with the query best AI upscalers. And you can also see the tokens used. So we have 503 prompt tokens, 88 completion tokens, and time to first token, 1.6 seconds. Then here is the tool call. So as you can see, action is the tool. Tavily search result JSON. And then scroll down, it goes back to the agent. As you can see the arrow, um, you know, agent calls the action and the action outputs back to the agent. Based on the search results, some of the top recommended AI upscalers include pixel cut, Topaz, it's actually quite a lengthy answer. So what we can do is go back to VS Code, go on the left, you can click on my agent and here you can see your agent, right? But actually uh, they recently did a small update and the system prompt is no longer in the agent. So you have to go into utils and click on nodes. Scroll down a bit and see here is the system prompt. So let's change it a bit. You are a helpful AI assistant. Always do what the user the user wants, make your answers concise and direct. Okay, control S. And now if we go back to Langraph Studio, you'll see that it's restarting the project because we changed something about it. So now if I ask another message, we can do like, what's the weather in Prague? Hopefully the responses will be much more concise and direct influenced by the system prompt we just wrote. The weather in Prague is currently sunny with a temperature of 21 and the response is much, much shorter, which is great. So let me show you the beauty of Langraph Studio is that not only you have the visual UI, which is obviously nice to look at, but the, perhaps the more practical and useful feature is the interrupts. In other words, you can basically run it step by step. So if we click on the interrupts, we can click on agent or action, or we can alternatively click on this plus next to the nodes. And this, you know, this just means it will interrupt the process at every step. So if you do, let's say a new thread, so make sure it's like, you know, with these lines, and then we can do a different prompt, like based on prediction markets, who is likely winning the 2024 election. And as you can see, it does not run by itself. We have to approve continue at every step. You can see like, okay, am I happy with this query, right? Am I happy with this going to Tavili? If not, I can do edit. I can change everything about it. And then I click on fork. And as you can see, there is a different fork. You're literally creating parallel universes with your agents. 
So if your agent might have gone this way, you can say, no, let's go this way. And you fork it and you continue in this fork. And this makes building agents so much easier. You know what is happening at every step you can see what's going on. Based on prediction markets like Polymarket, the current frontrunner, blah, 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 appears to be Trump. Okay, now you might be thinking, okay, David, but how can I add more agents? How can I build this into my own use case, right? Well, obviously, uh, you can do it programmatically, right? All the code is in here, so you can look at the structure and copy-paste the files and adjust them. But much easier solution is to simply use Lang Graph Engineer. This is what I'm talking about. This is Lang Graph Engineer. As always, there is a start, which is your user input. Then the agent wants more requirements. So it asks you relevant questions to gather more info out of you because they're anticipating correctly that most people do not provide enough context. Then it goes into the draft answer. And this is the agent that basically drives the answer for the line graph nodes, what it should look like. Then here's the simple check. This actually is not LLM powered. Then there's a critique and this is powered by LLM. So this is basically, uh, you know, criticizing the structure, if it's good or if it should be better. If it should be better, then it goes back to the draft answer agent and you know the process repeats with a check and back to the critique. If the critique uh, agent says that, okay, it's all good, it's good enough, then it ends and you get your finished product. So let's test it out. So we can say something like create a graph. By the way, the term graph in this case means basically a team of agents, right? Something like a workflow. So they just call it a graph. Create a graph for automating the creation of short form videos for YouTube and TikTok from long form YouTube videos or podcasts. Okay, submit. And on the right, we can beautifully see what's happening. So first off, gather requirements, right? To create a graph, blah, 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 I need to understand the steps, right? Let's start with the initial step, input node. How do you want to input the long form content? Will it be a URL? file upload or something else. So as you can see, this is working with you to build your team of agents. Okay, so let me answer that. It will be a simple URL to a YouTube video. Great, here is what we have so far. Input node, accepts a URL to YouTube video. Next, what would be the first step after receiving the URL? Do you want to download the video, extract the video? Then we need to download it and upload it to Opus Clip, for example. Here's the updated graph structure, input node, download node, upload node. Okay, what happens after it's uploaded? We need a node that interacts with Opus Clip to create shorts from the long form video. Do you need any additional steps? Let's keep it simple. No, that's it. Boom. So as you can see, it's worked with me. It asked me questions. So as you can see, it goes into the draft answer and now this agent is working hard, coding the entire program. Then it did the check really quickly uh, because the check is actually code, right? It's just programmatical. And then once it is accepted, as you can see, accepted true, it says, okay, sending to the user. So now we have this code, by the way, you can click on the uh, very, very right bottom. You can expand and you can see the values, the output values, right? So here is the code that Langref engineer created for us. Now, if you remember to the beginning, as the CEO of LangChain said, the goal here is to help you build this, right? Build the boilerplates, build the code, the backend. Your task is to put in the business logic, right? So whether it is, you know, turning long form into short form, whether it is automating email responses, building voice agents, whatever it is, you should have the deep knowledge of that task. Langref, you know, the team behind LangChain they don't have business knowledge on your business. You have knowledge, you have the most knowledge on your life and business. So it's up to you to implement the logic, but you can use tools like LangGraph Engineer to do everything else, which in this case is to write the code with five different nodes to uh, give you the structure, right? So you don't, if you're not a programmer, you probably are not capable of building uh, advanced graphs, right? Like this. I mean, it's not even that advanced, but if you're not a programmer, it seems intimidating. I get that. That's why Langref Engineer is really good. And of course, I'll link this below the video as well. Now, perhaps the best part is that they're actually planning to put this on their cloud. So LangChain Cloud is a separate thing. But basically this, since it's in the web UI, right? 
unlike the app, this app is running locally on my computer. So if you don't have access to my computer, which you hopefully don't, you cannot run this. Engineer, which is this, this is running on the web. Anybody can access it. Why? Because they put it on their cloud. But what makes me excited is the fact that soon they plan to roll this out, roll this out to everyone, meaning all of us will be able to deploy our agents on the web. So you can have this deployed on the web and anybody can access it, which would be just, it would be huge because it could make delivery of agents, you know, so much easier because sometimes the deployment part can be harder than building the agent itself. But if you can build it with a nice UI and deploy it like this and deliver it to your client or whatever, it'll just be a game changer in terms of building AI agents for others. Again, everyone who joins the new society before the end of August will get a personalized plan to help you get your first dollar with AI. Everyone is in a different situation. Someone doesn't have time. Someone needs more help with the technical stuff. Someone doesn't have sales skills. It doesn't matter. That's why this personalized plan will be made just for you to address your skills so you can start making money with AI agents. So when I say that new society is unlike anything you've ever seen, I mean it because we literally have a call every single day. So if you need more support, if you need me to help you get the business off the ground, that's what it's for. You can literally talk to me 30 times per month and get all the help you need. So if you want to make money with AI agents, then make sure to join the new society. It's the first link in the description. Thank you for watching.